Hello YouTube, my name is Nero, and today we have some Call of Duty Ghosts and another episode of Chem Strikes Saturday. So Chem Strikes Saturday, if this is perhaps your first time ever watching the video series, is a weekly series here on my channel where subscribers send me in Chem Strikes. And I do my best to talk about them, break them down, show them off, and of course at the end of the video, you can find a link to their channel as well as find a link to their channel in the video description to hopefully help their channel grow a little bit. It's kind of a win-win for everybody. This one was sent in by a guy named CodGhost619, alright? So CodGhost619, what we got going on here? So first and foremost, we're running around with our Space Cats camoed Bison, right? And Space Cats camo. <laughs> they, don't, they, they, they don't nerf the IED to the point where it feels like a well, you're stepping on a mushroom, but they add Space Cats camo. They don't, get, they don't fix the IED, they add Space Cats camo. That bothered me. That definitely bothered me when they did that. But a lot of people like the Space Cats camo, so it's like, all right, well, apparently we got a Space Cats camo. So what, what else is going on here? We're playing a bit of Drop Zone, and we're doing it on the map Bayview. So Drop Zone was something I did like. You know, when they added Space Cats camo, and I didn't even see that guy initially. Like, I thought he was just shooting just to shoot, but apparently there was a guy there the entire time, and there it is. But uh, I didn't like the idea of the Space Cats camo. Right, I'm like, okay, so you're going to have the IDs still just be broken as all hell, but you're going to add a Space Cats camo. I don't like how they did that. I do not like in any way how Infinity Ward hand handled that. It's just like, to me, it's like pandering. It's like, here, our game's broken, but have a Space Cats camo, because Space Cats. And it's like, really? But when this, but Drop Zone is something they did right, I think. I think the Drop Zone is something that Infinity Ward definitely did well with Call of Duty Ghosts. So... They try and take game modes that people aren't playing and bring in game modes people will want to play. And I like that. I love that idea. Um, I'm trying to think here. Capture the Flag used to be in Ghost, didn't it? Didn't it? But it's not anymore? I hope I'm, I hope I'm right on that. I'm fairly positive I'm right on that. But yeah, but just people weren't playing it. So they got rid of it and they tried out new stuff. You know, the, ma the game mode Hunted, right? So the, the original game mode Hunted was a team deathmatch based game mode where there were crates around the map, you know, and you had to go and you know, grab your weapon from there. Everyone otherwise would have a pistol. You had to go find your weapons out of these crates. No one was playing it. So they tried switching it up and they tried Hunted Free For All. And Hunted Free For All is pretty dead too, so they're probably going to try and switch it up again. It reminds me of what they did with Sabotage. Uh, Call of Duty 4, World of War, Modern Warfare 2, Black Ops. Um. I think, it, I think it might have been removed in Modern Warfare 3. I'm not sure on that. Uh, this, kind of, this kind of stuff's kind of cloudy for me. But the game mode Sabotage, right? It was a game mode that was in like every old Call of Duty game. But it was always the least played game mode. Always the least played game mode. And if I had to pick like a second least played game mode, it'd probably, it'd probably be Capture the Flag. Because Capture the Flag just never had a ton of people in it. And eventually, they just stopped putting Sabotage in the game. I mean, me, me personally, I actually like Sabotage. Like, Sabotage is that game mode where both teams have a bomb site, and there's, a like, a neutral bomb in the middle, and you both teams fight to grab the bomb and go plant the other team's objective. Like, I actually like that game mode a lot, but it was just always really underplayed. Like, there's always, like, t 10 people there, you know? No one ever seemed to play the game mode. So I like that Infinity Board is taking games that people aren't playing and replacing them with game modes that people might want to play. And Drop Zone was one of them. Drop Zone is actually a pretty popular playlist throughout Call of Duty Ghost, and I'm glad that they did that. You know, I'm glad they're actually trying to make their game a little bit better. It's definitely a good thing. Our guy Kago619 here, though, he's getting close to his chem strike. All right, you guys can see, he's just kind of running around the fast-paced action that is Drop Zone. He's going to turn the corner here. He's going to pick up one, and he's going to pick up two, and there is the chem strike, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Drop Zone is pretty cool. I, I tried playing it, and part of me is like, okay, there's there's times when Drop Zone is amazingly fun, and there's times when Drop Zone is like, oh, well, I just keep getting shot in the ass because everyone's spawning everywhere. <laughs> and so I can't I can't tell whether or not I like Drop Zone. I do like the idea that they brought into the game. That's definitely a good. That's definitely an advantage. Definitely a good thing. I like that they brought into the game well after you know the game came out because people weren't playing the other playlist. But I'm just not sure if it's exactly for me it's definitely for cod go 619 man goes 71 and 7 with 13 assists 71 and 7 that that's you know you don't have really the help of kill streaks unless maybe the, you know we, somehow we got like a chopper you know out of the care packages but for the most part man ran around with his gun without the help of kill streaks gets 71 kills and only dies seven times now if you played drop zone it's pretty hard to die less than 10 times 
because it's drop zone and people are everywhere coming from at you from all different directions. I was just playing that yesterday, man, and like, you always be playing, and you're just getting shot from everywhere. You're like, where is everybody? I... <laughs> Everyone's everywhere in Drop Zone, and the man didn't even die 10 times. Fantastic overall gameplay. I hope you guys all enjoyed this week's episode of Chem Strike Saturday. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating where you guys feel the video deserves. And if you guys like to have your guys' Chem Strikes featured on next week's episode of Chem Strike Saturday, everything you guys need to see is on your screen right there. Right there. Just follow all the rules. I've read them a million times, and I'm really tired of reading them, to be honest. If you guys like to go ahead and check out our guy, CodGo619, who is the guy who brought us his fantastic chem strike on the map, baby. He posts a lot to his YouTube channel. He does, and that's definitely something I always try to recommend. People are like, how do I grow my YouTube channel? I have eight videos up, but I don't have a thousand subs. That's why, why is this not working? No, CodGo619 gets it. He gets that YouTube is an ocean. And subscribers and views are fish, and the only way to get those fish is to cast as many nets as possible, and those nets are videos. That's how you grow on YouTube, is you post as many videos as humanly possible, and Kago619 definitely posts a lot. He doesn't go overboard, but he definitely posts a lot which I think is pretty freaking fantastic. If you do actually go over to Kygo 619s channel, he's, his content varies. It's primarily Call of Duty Ghosts, as you might guess from his channel name. So go give him a look. Go give him a look. Go see what you think there. I hope you guys all enjoy this week's episode of Chem Strike Saturday. And if you did, please be sure to leave a rating. Hope you guys all have a wonderful day.